Alright, hello YouTube. How you doing today? <clears throat> Alright, this is another part of the experiment we had going on in the bottle over here. Just quit bubbling. <clears throat> Make sure. Sure, all the sugars ate up. Yeah, might see more bubbles. Ugh. No, I think it's done. I think it's done ate all that sugar. <clears throat> all right, well, you remember these are raisins. The yeast neutralizer, neutralizer. At the bottom, you see all the dead yeast around it. We don't want to get that in here. We're gonna try not to. But we're gonna pour this real slow and try not to disturb that too much. Because all we want is the alcohol. Actually, what we're doing is we're moving it to a secondary fermenter. See all that at the bottom? That's yeast, dead yeast. Okay, we're gonna move this over here. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna clean all that up when my wife gets home. I just got off work, that's so where I look why I look like this. But what we're doing is we're trying to make sure that all the yeast is dead. Let all the settlement come out of it. Don't ever shake it up like I just did. Until everything, until everything is dead. <clears throat> we'll come back in a day or so and there'll be a little bit more sediment in there that's settled down. That's left in there. <clears throat> then I'll put it in the refrigerator and make sure that the yeast is dead. And leave it in there about two days. And you'll have about a... probably have a 13 to 14 percent alcohol and uh, we'll let it clear up some more the more it settles see this white stuff around it it'll all settle and then even be clearer and uh okay that's the update on it that's the second you put it in there and, you know again and Make sure you leave your top loose in case it's going a little bit. Okay, YouTube. We'll be back.